Greetings. Tonight I want to look at another G.I. Joe Sigma 6. This is Snake Eyes, the very first version. And as you can see, Snake Eyes came with a ton of stuff. Um, let's start with this thing he's wearing. He's got some sort of harness. Um, it's got two clips on it. It's elastic, padded up here on his shoulders. And it just is there for looks, I guess. Doesn't really have any functional purpose. What else does he have? He's got two um, scabbards. And they've got pegs that fit in any of these multiple weapons ports that Snake Eyes has all over him. Um, so you could put them on his hips, which I've never done that before, but you could if you wanted. He's got four holes on his back. So that's where I like to put these. They don't fit in the middle ones really well because of just of the the shallow pegs here. Just the sculpting. The these ones are raised relative to the two middle ones. So I guess we'll put them on the side ones. And the harness kind of gets in the way, but it moves okay. Okay, so now he's got two scabbards. What does he do with those? Well, he leans backwards. <clears throat> he's got two of these nifty Tonfa katanas. They have a fold out handle, so you can hold them like this, or as a sword. And that's neat. And pretty much every, I'm pretty sure every Snake Eyes in the line. If he comes with a with this sword there, the Tonfa Katana blend. So we can sort it up different ways. These fit back here. Slide. So there's that. Snake Eyes has another sheath, a shorter one, with an elastic band and a functional plastic clip. Um, this one, because of the elastic band, it's easy enough just to slide it up and into place. His arm would be out of the way. And he's got another, he's got a little short dagger. That fits in. Dagger just fits right in the sheath here. Click, um, and actually I may have put it in backwards because the handguard is asymmetrical. It sticks out farther one way side than the other. So it fits that way better, I think. Now uh, you notice that this fell off. These pegs are kind of short between the harness moving around and me moving the figure around. Those can fall off a little bit. Let's see what else has he got. He's got a, an Uzi or a machine gun of some kind with a removable clip which as I believe you can see it has a painted cartridge in there. That's really neat. I love that. Click. Um, this has a peg on it, which means I put this on the wrong side. Because you can just peg this right onto one of his many weapons ports. There we go. So we can carry a lot of his gear. I'm just going to leave that down there as a boot knife. He's got... Um, one of these dog tags, which has the Sigma 6 logo etched in there somewhere. That's kind of fun. And then he's got three masks. Let's zoom in on his head a little bit. <clears throat> As you can see, his, his head is nicely painted with his eyes showing. You've got the stereotypical or standard or usual snake eyes visor. I don't think I'm putting that quite in place right. 
there's a there we go. There's a little nub on each side of his head that fits into an indent in the mask, so it kind of stays in place a little bit. Anyway, that one looks nice, but he's also got a, a gas mask or a you know, breathable mask of some kind with clear green lenses. You can still kind of see his eyes through there. That's cool. And some sort of night vision -y goggles. I don't remember. There we go. This way. Click. There we go. Some Special Forces night vision goggles. And actually, those ones are my favorite on this one. Again, the clear green, you can't really see. Well, you can from the side. You can see his eyes. But you can just see big flesh tone colors in there. Um, that mask is cool. He also has a peg, two pegs, which since I moved the camera, I gotta hold them up higher. These pegs peg into the bottom of this dagger. So you can see there's a peg hole. And there we go. Uh, so do the katanas. So you can plug these in to each other and have a very Darth Maul-esque double-bladed katana thing with flip-out handles for I don't know why if you wanted or into this dagger and again there's two of them so I think this is all Snake Eyes has that plugs into each other but some of the other figures have other weapons that mostly swords that can plug into into each other to do extendo weapons. Neat. All right. He also has these other things: um, two suction cups for scaling something, I guess. And this, I believe, is called a whip star. It folds up into a folded mode and extends. And it has a magnet which is neat. I don't have anything with me I can stick it on, but you can stick it on a refrigerator, uncoil the rope, and have uh, snake eyes hanging from it. The end of the rope has a little hook on it, so you could hook it on something else and create a little zip line, which hey, he has a, a thing. The, uh, I have no idea what this is called. And I'm not going to bother trying to thread that through there because it is just a little snug and I don't have... Oh wait, yes I do. Something I can push it through with. Ta-da! So you hook one end somewhere over here and then you hang the other end on the fridge. You have snake eyes grab onto the Dealy, and he can slide down it. Hooray! I don't know why I can't think of what this would be called right now. And this figure also has the weapons locker, which is cool. I no longer have the foam for this one, so that means everything just fits inside it quite nicely if you're not using it. And that's really handy. I don't use those ones. Don't use the extra masks because you can only wear one at a time. So that's Snake Eyes accessories. Um, the articulation is is decent. He's got good forward and back motion. He's got sideways out motion with his legs. Uh, he does not have rotating hips, but his calves do rotate at the knees, as do his feet at the ankles. There is no side to side tilt but there's a good forward and back tilt um, the knee is pretty much 90 degrees same with the elbows pretty much just no this one's not even 90 really um, they do rotate at the elbows the wrists his fists hinge and then his shoulders are pretty well they're limited going up that way but they are unobstructed that way no bicep swivel head's got a good amount of rotation not not too bad tilt and not 
a lot backwards. Um, in fact, it's not going back at all. Put a little bit of down. And waist swivel and a little bit of a torso crunch. So, for uh, this was a great opening version of Snake Eyes. Um, you know, lots of cool, mostly ninja th themed accessories, but uh, they, they did several versions of Snake Eyes with, with other weapons, Commando Snake Eyes, and Night Ops Snake Eyes, and Arctic Snake Eyes, and every sort of Snake Eyes that you could amount want. Um, this is a pretty good figure. It's, it's a good introduction to the line, if you like Snake Eyes. Um, the ninjas were always what interested me the most in in G.I. Joe stuff. I don't forget he's got a little machine gun there in case he needs it. So, good figure, and you know what? I recommend it. Although I'm selling this one. <laughs> there are other Snake Eyes I like a little more than this one, but this is a really, a really good... There we go. Really good fun figure. So, thanks for watching. G.I. Joe Sigma 6 Snake Eyes.